There's so many of them. Am I really going to open them all up at once? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm gonna open them all up in one go. I don't know how I feel about them. I wasn't so sure about the originals when I opened them, but I ended up kind of liking those. I should have them to compare, probably. Do I see them? Are they around somewhere that easy for me to access? I think I should go get them. Okay, I found them. And oh no, I tied up their hair. That means they're gonna have big crimps in their hair. I didn't know this, because they were some of the first dolls that I ever had. Somebody's wings fell off, and I'm not sure who has wings and who doesn't. I know Applejack doesn't. Kind of matches her. It must be her wings. I don't know that much about ponies. I don't know why they included Sunset Shimmer. I don't have a doll of her. I might, but I don't have her open. Yeah. Why did they include her with the main six? I find that kind of bizarre. I don't know if I really like the style, but I'm willing to take a look at them. The heads are really big. They look like they're lightweight. I really love the packaging. Every single box is different and really unique. I did get these on sale and got a really good price for them. So I guess I don't mind opening them. So there's Pinkie Pie. Just look at that artwork. It's so nice. And I like how each picture on the back is individualized. Really look like the minis in those cartoon pictures. And here is Fluttershy. Uh-huh. Applejack. And Sunset Shimmer. I definitely have her mini somewhere. And this is Twilight Sparkle. Does that mean before she was a princess? And here is Rarity. And then this is Rainbow Dash. Really nice artwork. I kind of don't want to destroy the cards. Do I take time or cut around the bubble or what do I do what do I do I kind of was just gonna leave them into the box like this I'm opening them I'm gonna open them so what I do when I have an action figure that I really like like a classic masters of the universe figure I will cut along the bubble like this just with a pair of scissors and just go all the way around now this might work out for the best because now I actually can see the art on the back of the card even better. So I could just save these cards. I wish I had a Disney princess opened so I could see if they do use the regular Hasbro girl body. I don't know. I always like when a toy company makes all of their dolls in the same style. Does not happen very often. I just think it would be really cool if you could play perfectly with all of your toys together. Children might not care about that. I know I would have when I was a kid. Let me show you each one on their card, unobscured by the bubble. Before I cut them off, oh, she looks so cranky. I think they took more liberties with their looks here. I guess I could compare them to the minis. That's it, that was the last one. All right, I'm gonna cut them all off their cards now. After I go to all that trouble to save the cards, then their heads are really stapled in there, and then, uh... <laughs> Okay, so here they are. It's so funny that Fluttershy was the last one I opened because they were all standing so well until we get to these shoes that look like they're missing heels. <laughs> Very strange. They're really cute. They're really colorful. There's so many of them. I remember when I opened them the first time, I didn't think I liked Fluttershy at all, but there's something about her coloration. And again, now that I opened her, I like the light yellow and the light pink together. And her dress is really nice. And these translucent shoes are really cool, despite them not being able to stand. Let me move some of these out of the way. I always like to take all of the elastic off because I don't believe that a toy should have an elastic on it. 
That's Fluttershy. She's got that sparkly thing on her dress. The dress is really nice. It's like a cotton. It's thicker. The belt latches on the side like that. It looks like this. It's got a butterfly on it, of course. Her straps are ribbons. I really like the translucent shoes. I think it's the only translucent item in the whole set. All the shoes have slits in the back to be able to put on. The feet are a fairly good size. As you can hear they're a very brittle plastic. They're not too light and they did give them elbow joints and there's clicks in them. They're clicky joints and the heads are really big and normally like with Ever After High I really like the big heads because it made them look old-fashioned. These are a little too modern I guess to look old-fashioned or a little too obscure. The big heads don't make them look old-fashioned. They just make them more cartoony. But they're cute. That's a really sweet cute face. And the paint jobs on the face are all perfect. I don't think any of them are off. The hair isn't soft. It's not as coarse as the original ones though. So a significant difference in size. Still smaller than a Barbie. They're cute. They're very laggy. So all of the bodies are the same. Now Twilight Sparkle does have two accessories. She has her glasses that are removable. And she's got this ascot scarf thing that is also removable. And they put that under her collar. This shirt skirt combination is one piece and it velcros up the back. You can see how the collar is sewn in there. And it's shiny, but it's a very soft vinyl. And their cutie marks, I guess, are on their skirts. And that's what her shoes look like. Kind of nerdy. You have to stick her glasses in her hair to make them stay on, but I guess they can stay on pretty well. Twilight Sparkle. Pinkie Pie. Two bracelets. Balloons on her shirt. There are these shoes. The hair is tied over to one side. The tabs that they put into the back of their head to attach to the package, they're in so tightly and they're so brittle. That when you pull them out, they snap off. So they all have little spikes in the back of their heads. So she's got a two piece, the Velcro's on the back there and the skirt has an elastic waist. The skirt's really nice with all of the layers of tulle. Oh, her bracelets are a translucent plastic, and that's her pretty face. They all have pony ears, and she's got this weird elastic thing pulling her hair around her ears there. That's the most intricate hairdo so far. Heart shoes for Valentine's Day. Pinkie Pie and Pinkie Pie. Shoes have changed. Rarity looks like a business lady. I don't know much about the ponies, but I know that I watched one or two episodes and I thought it was actually pretty good, but I'm not a brony yet. She's very proper, though. She looks business ready. I always think that she's one of my favorite because of the coloration. I like her pale, pale skin and the purple looks good together, but she looks really prissy in this outfit. These are the shoes and the shiny top and belt and necklace. And she has a bracelet. I like the gold and the silver. These come off, of course. Every time I think that it's a single piece and it's a double, and every time I think it's a double piece, it's a single. So this is all one piece. And that just Velcros. I like that shiny material that it's made out of. It's really metallic, yet it's soft. And so far the belt's all clipped over to the side and I like that. And they clip in really well and securely and look like a real belt. And I guess her cutie mark is on her top. And her hair is tied over to the side there. And that's what she looked like before and after. To be honest, they have painted on tops. Something I don't like. They have feet that don't show. I guess it's their size. Before I opened them I thought they were like really cheapy, but there's something cute about how they design them and the faces are really cute and I still think I like these ones better. There's something a little awkward about these ones, I think. Alright, Rainbow Dash. I guess she's sporty. Is she kind of a tomboy? She has pants on and she's got some sneakers. High heel sneakers are always funny to me because they're fake sneakers. She's got two different colored bracelets. I like that. Very colorful she is. Hair's tied in a ponytail and bangs are tied over to the side there. And she's got a funny little eyebrow smirk thing going on. I really like the artwork. I think her face is so cute there. Very colorful pants. This is two pieces. Really thick shirt because it's like a jacket and a t-shirt, but that is one piece. The pants are crazy tights. 
I don't think I showed you that the legs can go out like that. And they don't go backwards, but they do go forwards. And it's cool to have your cutie mark printed on a t-shirt. And she's got blue, yellow, and orange in her hair. Not all the colors of the rainbow, like her first one did. And that is the difference between those two. I'm pretty sure I ruined their hair. I was just trying to get it out of the way. I think she had a ponytail, I'm not sure. Wow, this hair is coarse. Doesn't really feel any different though. All right, Applejack. So she's got her denim skirt on, her boots, slits up the back. I like all the Western details on them. They look really cool. The metallic apple on her shirt is cool too, and I like her belt. And it's a faux denim. And it is two pieces. So it's a separate skirt with the ribbon to keep it from riding up. And the belt that fastens at the front like a real belt. That's really, really, really cool. It's a nice belt. That's how the skirt is made, not hemmed at the bottom. The top and bottom stitches are real, but all that pocket detail is faux. It's a nice t-shirt too. Such nice detail. And her bangs are braided like a rope and then taken over to one side. And that is Applejack with no hat. And her skin is far more pale. <laughs> she looks so sparkly. She does look more country. And then there is Sunset Shimmer in her rock and roll look. And then she's got that mischievous eyebrow action going on too. She has a oh, studded bracelet, two studded bracelets, three studded bracelets. Okay, they were all like mixed up, but that's three separate bracelets put on together. That's really cool. They could have just made one. I like that. She's got a studded belt that does fasten in the back. It looks like it should fasten in the back. So we got a skirt and a top. Of course, the vest and t-shirt with her cutie mark on it are one piece. She's got a ribbon and this crazy more leather printed skirt. That's all printed on, all of that stitching. And it Velcro's off the back. I love this color red, it's super vibrant. She also has a little braid that go from her bangs off to the side. The other side is tied back. She's a little bit country and she's a little bit rock and roll. I like the expression on her face. I'm a big fan of mischievousness. And then these are her crazy rock and roll studded boots. She's hardcore, isn't she? What do you think of these? Let me know which one of these are your favorite. Let me know if you like the originals better. Maybe you like the minis better. Maybe you don't like Equestria Girls. Maybe you like the ponies. Maybe you don't think that they should be humanoids. Who's your favorite character? She doesn't belong in this set. Do you think any of them improved? Do you like how they've changed and developed? I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to get these to stand faster than I'm able to. Make some room for myself in here too. <sighs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. crazy. Seven dolls. Seven strange pony dolls. They're ponies. They're girls. They're Equestria girls. Equestria girls. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Where am I gonna put all these?